What is up, guys? It is Tuck Cookie Man here, or OV Cookie, and I am bringing you with my first tutorial Tuesdays. Now, this is the beginning tutorials, and the beginning tutorials are going to be beginners on Sony Vegas Pro 12 and 11. They're they are very similar. They 12 just has extra features and stuff like that. So, um, basically, what we're gonna go over th today is basically what Sony Vegas Pro 12 consists of, what I use it for. We're gonna show you how to up, um, just simple uploading a clip or a gameplay or whatever you'll have onto Sony Vegas as well as photos and stuff like that. And then we're gonna go over all the timeline functions all right, and then the next video, we're gonna go over all of the above functions like saving it, file editing. We're gonna go over all that in the next video. So basically, what um I use Sony Vegas Pro 12 for is editing my gameplay, um as well as most of the time editing montages and OCEs, which stands for um one clip edits. So make sh again d if you're watching this and you already know how to use Sony Vegas and you're just looking for something cool to do like a cool effect or something like that I'm not doing that right now I will do that later on um in the tutorials cuz this is for beginners first so basically what we have is the display which is right here of course as you can see um it displays what you are working on currently. You have your timeline down below, which is actually where you edit stuff. You put in your, you drag in your clips, you um, crop them, um, do whatever you want to them, um, and this is where you edit everything basically. Um, you know, put in your music and stuff like that. All right, then you got your audio settings, which is off to the right. This is all on default. You can add other windows that have certain things like you can add a brightness and contrast window to your video so you can edit like how bright your videos and stuff like that but this is all the default stuff so basically they have a what's called a master bus I guess <laughs> and um it you can control your audio what your outputs are what your inputs are stuff like that um and then on the left you have your explorer which you can go in all your documents and stuff like that take out what you want put them in you have your uh, transitions, which you can add all these, mostly default transitions to your video, video effects, effects to your video, and media generators, which are basically like colors, like textures, texts, um, stuff like that. So uh, that's basically what that is all for, you know, templates, you know, credit rolling, as you can see right there, stuff like that. That's basically what that does. Um, yeah, and then you got the toolbar up here, which includes a whole buttload of buttons and gadgets and gizmos and crap like that, which I'll eventually in the beginner's tutorial I will go over. Um, big part of the display is the toolbar on the separate display. Like every window has its own toolbar, and the display one is big. You use this one a lot. Um, preview, you can um, like. If your video is lagging um, and you're playing it on best, then you want to go to preview and it'll play smoother and draft it'll play smoother, but the quality will be less, but it's only a preview. So, yeah. So that's basically what Sony Vegas consists of. Let's go over how to upload a clip, a photo, or even music to Sony Vegas. Basically, you press this little up open button right here or you can go to file and press open doesn't really matter which one you do I like pressing the button because it's just like a one button press right there and basically you go to, through your files and you pick whatever video photo music you want to add to it so basically right now um, I got a five minute headshot feed on Nuketown that I'm just gonna open now it's gonna ask you do you want to set your project video settings sorry for the um Skype thing down here. Anyways, do you want to set your project video settings to match this media? 
Um, if you have an HD video that is 59 frames per second or 60 frames per second or whatever, and it's HD 720 or 1080 or something like that, then yeah, click yes for, for sure. But if your video is not HD or not even 50 frames per second or 59 frames per second, then click out, click no, and then you can set your um project settings later on so if you don't have an hd clip and you want to like render it hd so it just looks a little tad sharper not like better quality really doesn't look but it looks sharper then uh press no but if you have a hd video set 59 frames per second then click yes and i i do personally so i click yes um as you can see it's really bad quality right there because i have on draft of course and you go to best and it's all clear again all right, so basically the timeline functions that you can do here. Um, I'm just gonna go over the main ones and the simple ones and the beginner ones. Um, basically, you got your clip right here, of course, and you got what's I don't even know what the heck this is called. It's called like a little marker, I guess, that you move around and you move around throughout your clip or your project, and you can move around from place to place where your video is. So basically that's what that's for all right you got this up here which is uh loop that's what it's called like it's the loop and basically you um the only thing i really use this for is you loop it over something and i usually um press this is later on of course i press shift b and it previews your clip in a full render it takes a while to render it, but then after this whole loop region is rendered, it'll play it in full speed and best quality, so it's like you just rendered a video. So, that's basically what the loop does. You can And um, when you want to make a video and you only want to render certain parts of the video, like file render it and make it into a real video, you put this loop over what por portion of the video you want to render and then you, it only renders that part of the video like if you have a video after it that you don't want to render it'll only render up to the end of the marking point so that's basically what this little tool is it's this tool is a little more advanced than what I'm telling you right now but you'll you'll learn to use it all right basically now you have the opacity or op opacity whatever um, right here basically what this does is I'll show you um, another tool is you to add more layers to your timeline you press right click and then you go to uh, either if you want to add audio track that, to put music in or you want a video track I'm just gonna put a video track in right now and then so basically now you open and I'm just gonna open up the logo so basically this is just an example of what the opacity or pacity whatever you want to call it I really don't care um to show you on the screen what it does and basically it makes it more transparent or less transparent basically um so yeah if you see if you put it at like 50% it is like half transparent and then if you put it on like 10% you can like barely see it so that's basically what that is for um also you have the offset tool which means you can make your video fade in or fade out I'm gonna show you an example of that actually right now I'm gonna put my thing to uh, let's actually put the preview preview should be good and as you can see the video fades in from black of course and I get my five minute headshot feed and then it fades out bam like that so basically that's what that is um pretty simple stuff right there also on the clip itself you have little buttons you can go right here and it's a uh, event pan crop and basically what this does I'll get over and I'll talk about this later in later episodes because this is actually a big part of editing you do and you event pan crop a lot but basically you can edit where your video is in 
like the preview and what it's going to do in the edit. So let's say you want to zoom in. You want to zoom out. You want to rotate your clip. You know, do all that stuff. I got to read justice there. That's good enough. Whatever. I don't really care. All right. So, yeah, that's basically what that does. Opens a whole new window, you notice. Mostly everything you do, if you want to add anything, do anything, I'll open up a whole new window right here that has a bunch of settings in it and it tells you what you're going to do. Alright, so, basically, and if you have something panda cropped that's off the default settings, you will have um, a little event crop button and it'll be highlighted blue. Alright, now the event FX button basically you put effects on to your video which I will show you just a whole bottle of these there is so many and there's add-ins like I have Twixter and I have um clamp time and I have magic bullet looks um those are big uh like you can they're called plugins and you can plug them into your Sony Vegas to add more effects to it and stuff like that. But basically, I'm just going to show a really quick example, really easy. You can try it out yourself if you even want to experiment. Um, Sony Brightness and Contrast, you just click it and then you add it. And then, basically, you can... Oh, it gets brighter, it gets darker. Um, contrast, uh, let's say you have a very bright video, it'll put more like... A, oomph into it or if it's very dark it'll put more oomph into the darkness you know it just makes it more makes either the brightness or the darkness more deep you know and uh so basically what it does and if you want to delete a uh, event you, m you have to click on it and when it's highlighted blue just click this little uh x button right there and then it just gets rid of whatever event fx uh, you had right there so that's basically the buttons for down here um, if you want to delete a video, you right click it and press delete or you just click on it and press the delete on your keyboard. That works as well. Also, if you want to copy a video, you just press control and you drag it and it just basically duplicates the whole clip itself, which is actually very useful. And I do that quite a lot, actually. If you want to split a clip, you just press the S. And it splits the clip in half so you can edit a little on here and you can edit a little on here. Two different edits. Basically two different videos you just put it into. And if you want to undo that, you just go up here and you click the undo button. There. Alright. Also, you can just click the split. Right click and then split. Um, anything else you want to go over? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, properties. Okay, you want to right click on your video at all times. Go to properties in any video you have, whatever. You want to click disable, resample, and maintain aspect ratio. Those are two big buttons that you want to click. Or you want to unclick maintain aspect ratio. And you want to, from smart resample, you want to go disable re resample. Basically, that makes your... You can edit your video a lot more with the um, maintain aspect ratio clicked off. And with the desample, res um, disable resample, it just makes slow motion a lot smoother. So if you want slow motion, you better click disable resample or else you're screwed. Or you're not really screwed, it's just not going to be as smooth. And yeah. So um, another thing is if you like have two videos, you can merge them together and it'll like fade. Like it'll fade together which that's really cool a little you can s experiment with that um also um you got over here this is um a layer your layer little editing you can like edit each layer um you go to compositing mode and you can change your con compositing mode basically what this means is we're going to insert um here, well insert this my little logo right here again pretty sexy pretty sexy logo right there anyways so um let's make it best all right so basically what it will do is you can change compositing mode just basically edits this whole layer and all the videos on it and it'll make it a certain like it'll make it darker or it'll just do something special to this video that makes it a different effect and stuff like that. So, if you go to 
add, it'll make it really bright and transparent. If you go to subtract, it'll make it really dark and transparent. Multiply, it'll crop out all the white in it and make everything else black. Just it'll crop out the white. Um, source alpha, that's regular. That's your regular run of the day um, compositing mode that all your regular clips are. Cut. Uh, you can you can just experiment with this. I'm not gonna go over all of them. Oh, wait, I'm doing the wrong one. I'm not gonna go over all of them, but there are some real cool things you can experiment with that if you want to. Um, also, you got the level right here, which is basically the same thing as opacity or opacity, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Um, but it edits the whole layer, makes it the whole layer, and edits the whole layer transparent. Also, you can click this little mute button right here, and it'll mute the whole layer, and everything will go away until you unmute it, of course, and then it pops back up. So there's a little helpful tip for you right there. Also, on the left-hand side right here, you got how much time you have. So if you go into the video, like right now, I am... 10 seconds and 2 milliseconds through my video and then I don't think it's milliseconds actually it's something other seconds because milliseconds would be up to the hundredth but this oh wait, it is up to the hundredth never mind I don't know. but anyways so yeah um this basically right here it tells you what track number it is basically um if, let's see if I have music if I have music I'll show you really quick uh, no, I don't have music, but I do have a little sound clip right here, like of a SVU shot. So I'll show you audio really quick. Um, to it upload audio quick audio clip. All you can do is open and you click on your audio, or you want to right click in audio track if you want to like adjust where you want your audio before you actually insert it. And another thing. Is if you want to move around your uh, layers, you just like oh see now that's on top now it's on bottom you just kind of you just drag it like that doesn't really matter usually audio is like under your video I don't know that's just how I do it all right uh, let's just upload whatever DSR DSR 50 whatever and so it now plays with your video like so basically really simple that is about it folks um uh, oh one more thing another thing there's all I'm telling you there's a lot of things a lot a lot of timeline options these are the simple options of course um if you insert a video track you can right click and insert text media and a text thing will pop up I'll go over this later once again but that's really a uh, simple effect that you can put on your videos you can edit fool around with that and basically you just click on this little button right here and then you can edit what is right here you can fool around with that if you want to I'll make another tutorial on that later um that is I'm trying to think is there anything else that I should go over I don't think so. So, guys, I hope this enjoyed all you, uh, helped all you beginners out there that are very confused on Sony Vegas and you just want to get started right away. Um, I'll be coming up with more tutorials. Um, basically, the next tutorial will be everything up here, like the whole, like, part two, basically, part two of two. And I'll show you almost everything. I'll show you what media generators are, video FX, more video FX transitions. Um, I'll show you basically a, oh, yeah, there, yeah. I'll show you a bunch of stuff that is really cool. <laughs> um, that's yeah. So this is to Cookie Man, or you want to call me Ov Cookie, or you want to call me the damn rootness tootness. YouTuber around you can call me whatever you want But I'm about to be out share this with your friends. Please give a good feedback. I Want this tutorial uh, uh, Series to go viral <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get big on YouTube. You just watch me be one of my first subscribers and subscribe <gasps> This is to cookie man can too. No, 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 not to cookie man can too. to cookie man or ov cookie and I'm out Peace